am with Lunik. Lunik, how are you doing? Doing really well, and um, this is gonna be such an enjoyable day today as we're going to have our matches for the NBA 2K19 here in Indiana. Now, real quick, Lunik, you've been playing a lot of League of Legends. Uh huh, definitely. You've been playing a lot of those uh, PC games. And now we're going to the console. Yeah. <laughs> going to the console Uncharted for some territory. NBA 2K. No, 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 I dig it, I dig it. Because we got to take NBA 2K to the same level of the of the Dotas, of the LOLs. And it's an up-and-coming game. The Philippines yeah. is a basketball country. And you know what I love about NBA 2K? What is it? You know, I have asthma. Nice. I'm a fat kid. I'm short. And, you know, it. I love basketball. And this is the only place that I can play basketball and we have two hot NBA 2K players on the main stage. We have ISC Jude Deloso and then we have Julian. Now both of these guys are coming in hot. Jude Deloso is an NBA 2K veteran at the right age of 21 I want to say. Are you 21? Yeah. 20. Let's give, let's give him 20. Let's give him a little bit of doubt. A little bit of doubt. <laughs> So much hype coming into this match. Um, I've heard a lot about his plays actually, that he competes um, outside of the as well. So, Big shout out to Playbook Esports. Yeah. Uh, we also have shout outs for our sponsors uh, Low Telecom, High Tech, uh, 3 and D, Double Dragon, Prime Cut, 3 R's, and Chicken Sari Sari. And real quick, before we get to this game, I want to hype up Julian as well. Julian is looking pretty, pretty calm. No focus, not even yeah, blinking. He's in the zone right now. Definitely. Or he's thinking about what he's going to get for lunch. Because he's up against an amazing competitor in Jude Deloso. Yeah, no wow. moment time, everybody. Yeah, really. Definitely, definitely. Now, for everyone watching, if you don't know, now you know, ISC Jude is going to rock the Philadelphia 76ers and Julian with the OKC Thunder. This is a, these are really explosive teams, really good spacing between these two teams, and I'm really hyped up with like how these two are gonna play this out, but play by play. Well, right about now, if we can, let's get to the tip off so we can check, check it, check, check this out for game one of the NBA 2K19 Quick Game Tournament live, brought to you by 3 and D at SM Ilo Ilo City. Game one begins now. Tryouts begins now. Right. Tim off goes to Julian and a quick timeout, very sketchy. I wonder why. Why did you call a timeout? Can we get a Marshall on stage? Just to check Marshall. 3 and D Marshall, please, up on stage, real quick. We're gonna have a reset. We're gonna have a quick reset because the game settings has to be placed at six minutes per. This is the top 8 of the 3 and D uh, quick game tournament. This has been more, over a month, over a month's worth of quick game tournaments leading up to today. Your yeah, thoughts? So, uh, lots of uh, hype coming into this matchup. Of course, uh, both these teams, uh, both, everybody here just really hyped up with, the, uh, with all their game plans and of course all their uh, skill sets just setting up their uh, lineups right now. I know, they had it set a while ago, now they gotta do it again. No problem though, because you need all your uh, tools, your ingredients, your recipe in order to win. This is a double elimination tournament, but there's a different stake if you go to the redemption bracket, aka the loser's bracket. Yeah, Once you get there, you know, it's one dead and you're out. Yeah, so winning um, consistently and not losing one game is a really gives you like that, that uh, momentum, right? Confidence. Momentum. And um, we're going to load into the game right over here, but as I as I was saying, like if you don't lose any game at all, it just assures that you get a uh, good position to winning the whole thing when you get there. Definitely, and once once you get to the finals, your opponent is will be intimidated. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, both the players are just gonna set up their uh, place for now. Um, let's talk about the uh, both these teams or like coming into this uh, matchup. Let's go. Uh, what are you gonna expect from uh, between a matchup between Philadelphia and the uh, OKC? No one's gonna guard Ben Simmons at the perimeter. That's what I'm gonna say, man. Everyone's gonna sag off of Ben Simmons. Yeah, no jump shots. This no is NBA 2K19. Yeah, jump shots will be really uh, hard for uh, Simmons, which is why he's gonna try to penetrate as much as possible and try to kick it off whenever the defense collapses on him. On 
inside the lane. So lots of pressure going to be taken by Ben Simmons. But let's not forget that the perimeter shooters for uh, Philadelphia is really good as well. Talking about Reddick? Uh, yeah, we got Reddick. We got Embiid with the mid-range jumpers as well. It's oh, be, like, he's a stretch five. That's what I love about Embiid. That's what I love about modern day NBA. If you're a big, you're not stereotyped to be down low. You can stretch out. Give space and shoot it from three. Yeah, especially wingmans and guards as well. Um, they don't necessarily have to have that jumper. So you can have explosive talent like Russell Westbrook and um, uh, Ben Simmons as well. Like they don't have the best jumpers in the world, but they're so explosive when they get into the rim. So they, they're still threats no matter what. Shout outs to Andre Robertson. <laughs> what are you doing at the wing? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing with the free throws as well? Like really bad, but. This is going to be a really good matchup. So both these Don't forget, yo, you're forgetting about one key part of the Oklahoma City Thunder. PG-13. Yeah, PG-13 can do it all. He can rebound, shoot the threes. He could even penetrate inside the lane. He can do it all. I like to call him uh, T-Mac with defense. <laughs> T-Mac with defense. Six yeah. foot eight, shooting guard, a small forward. As you said, can knock it from down deep. And he's an amazing athletic finisher as well. Yeah, really efficient as well. His statistical numbers are really good across the boards. He can play it from any position as well, stretch from, from one to four. And of course, playing with Russell Westbrook, you have really, a really athletic duo with this yeah. the OPC. Definitely. So it's going to be fast. It's going to be a fast-paced uh, perimeter game, I believe. I don't want to pick, put any biases, or I don't want to put my my money on one guy. But you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking at OKC, yo. I'm looking at OKC just because of what you said. PG13, Russell Westbrook. Then again, Mr. ISC Jutiloso is using the Philadelphia 76ers. Yeah, there's just so much hype around this guy. So consistent with the NBA, NBA 2K uh, scene here on UAE City. He's one of the best there is. So, um, playing his best team actually right now in the first game. Yeah, you have to, so have to man. Yeah. First game, you want to start it off with a bang. Exactly. Yo, real quick, you know, Jude Delors or ISC, um, he's been competing at our tournaments too at Metro Manila at uh, Playbook Esports. We used to have. We have console esports league uh, every year, that being 18, 16, 17, 18, and uh, coming this August, we're gonna have a quick game tournament once again. Uh, stay tuned, check out our Facebook page at Playbook Esports. Um, but I want to say a big thing. Jude Deloso is one of those guys that comes here, that, uh, comes from Iloilo, and would go to Metro Manila and strike fear at the hearts of the NBA 2 k players at Metro Manila. So, you know, you guys. Are in for a lot of treats. Yeah, a lot of treats this guy. guy. Really hyped up to see this guy play. And of course, I, I've, I've never really seen him play because this is the first time I'm going to pass the NBA 2K. But I've already have so much of faith in this guy. Uh, from what I've been hearing from like most of the people at ISC, that that's that's just that's just a lot of hype. That's just a lot of hype. I know the way he balances gaming and his responsibilities and that. That's what a true esports player is, you know. It's not all about performing at the game, being the best at your game. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be a role model at, about what you do. So you, if, if you're going to carry a reputation, you better carry a reputation that your parents are going to love. Yeah, play hard, work harder. <laughs> Big fish. Big fish. So we're, we're getting into the game again, and we're going to start tip off once again. Four. Peso prize pool at the end of the day. ISC Jude with the Philadelphia 76ers and Julian rocking the thunder. Tip off goes to Julian. And you see a 2 3 zone being started here on the game. So we see Grant going inside and a foul gets in the way. So we can Adams into the line. I, I like it. I, I like starting off with a 2 3 zone. I, I believe uh, it sets the pace right away for that interior defense. But unfortunately, Julian misses both free throws. Over to the corner is Ben Simmons. Nada. <laughs> Wise pass that at was the corner to JJ Reddick. That was a quick cross pass there, but it was, was not able to make it in. And here comes Robertson into Westbrook for the three, but misses the shot. Not the best start for uh, this first game, but the intensity is there. They are playing at the main stage. Ju 
I see Jude at the corner, kicking and banging with that corner specialist three. That's the opening basket for today. This is the second time he's been passing. Oh, he gets the steal as well. Here comes Ben Simmons on the fast break. Oh! And he makes an insane dunk. AKA Jordan esque with the cradle. And we're just getting started. Two buckets in for ISC Jude. Yeah, Jude has been playing the wings really well, passing it left and right. But an excellent release there from Paul George from deep. Green light release indeed. Yeah, that was. But here comes Jude once again. He keeps playing these wings really well, passing it on the sides. That shot was contested. But it was JJ Reddick. I can see that Julian is a little bit, uh, rather, Jude is a little bit disappointed with that. Testing for that uh, strip. Not bad, not bad. Good pressure. Here comes Westbrook being pressured by everybody, but here comes the penetration by Robertson in from the lane and makes the dunk. Nice pass for Paul George. Yeah, he's going to pay with that if he's going to run the 2 3 zone. Your perimeter will be exposed. Exactly, and it opens up the space for these lanes to get passed on, but... There's the tip. A little bit of a tip right there from the side. Backing down, Paul George Redick is Ben Simmons. Inside, Interception, but... crucial pass. Andre Robertson with the fast break, denied right away by ISC Jude. Yeah, Finally, he resorts to a man-to-man -man defense, checking out all of the dudes, making sure that no perimeter shot is open. Look at that, suffocating defense. Amazing transition defense as well. He was able to stop that from being a fast break score. Bucket and Jude gets the rebound as well. Here comes the fast break as they pass it on to Redick and they go out again to Simmons. Open to in the Harris. corner is Tobias Harris. Slightly disappointing. It was an open shot, not contested. You gotta live with it. Yeah, Harris not making the shot there, but here comes the steal by Jude. Once again, passes it on to Simmons, and another fast break. Open three gets it from downtown. Three point. Julian tries with Russell Westbrook, difficult shot, slightly contested, but it is that dead eye. 8 to 7 is the score. ISC Jude is slowly, slowly being checked by Julian. Three minutes left into the game. And actually, OPC is having a really hard time right now with his passing on. says Jude is actually still left and right. Here we go again. There we go. It's those careless passes, man. Fast break leading to a JJ Reddick layup. That is not his territory, but Jude will get it right away. Yeah, and I really think that OPC should slow down a bit with their movement right now because they keep getting their passing lanes stolen as they force these turnovers. Nice observation there, uh, Ludic. Paul George tries and there's the contest down deep. Another goal, second chance points. Third chance points. Extra passing, Jeremy Grant at the corner, still a no goal. Disappointing this run. This is such a disaster. He has so many open looks, but he can't make these shots. And now here we have a foul. Ludic, real quick, you're an esports guy. How do you remain composed after that sort of rally? It's just mentality, I guess. Like you have to stay calm under pressure when it comes to these shots like this, and just look for that one small play that gives you a bit of momentum to get back into the game. That's what separates you, that's what separates being a pro at video games and being a casual. Yeah, exactly. You have to have the good and right mentality when it comes to getting under pressure. And right now, the pressure is on Julian right now. Like, so much pressure from Julian. He keeps interrupting the passing lanes, he keeps going. Putting so much pressure, and it's been two minutes since the last score from both these teams, and now we're just running the clock right now. Definitely, definitely. Oh, Jude with the interception again with JJ Reddick. Joel and B partying. Nearly it's the well. Second chance points. Open to a wide open JJ That's Reddick. A green good, light release. Amazing shot and amazing spacing by Jude, by Jude there as well. Just really good across the board. His spacing has been incredible. What are you looking at, Julian? Why is Jude getting all of these second chance points? Yeah, I think that. Looking at Julian right now, he needs to find a way to get an opening. Maybe run a couple of picks right now. I don't see much space on his board, which is why the interceptions keep happening right now. 
Hot potato basketball is what I call it. The rock is too hot, they just keep passing it to the open man. Oh, but we have an open guy, Felton. 4-3. Oh, tough miss from Julian. Ben Simmons for Jude Fumbles leading to another possession, back to Julian. You know, if you're Julian, you have to make the most out of these errors from Jude. It's still early on, but I gotta get those points up, man. Yeah, we have to make these shots. It's like, there's just so much uh, momentum that's lost every time he misses these open jumpers, as we see a three once again missing for Julian. Ironically, this, this tournament is brought to you by VND, and that's what we are seeing all day first quarter threes and defense which is paying off for you <laughs> oh man but anyways that's Simmons right now just looking for that good opening right now spacing out the floor for another three to buy a have you been counting have you been counting how many threes was that i i stopped counting after the first two it, it it's a great start here by june 24, 24 seconds left in the first quarter. Quick shout outs to Globe, iTech, 3 and D, Double Dragon Prime Cup, 3 R's, and Chicken Sari Sari for making this event possible. This is the tryouts. We are live here at SM City, Ilo Ilo. Right now we have a timeout. I guess it's just Julian looking for a reset. He does not know how to uh, make the space work out. He's getting the open shots, but he's not making them. He has to rest out his players and just do something. Nerves, I think. Nerves. We are playing live here in the ball. And we're also playing. He's also playing against one of the best players in the competition right now. So definitely some uh, pressure on him right now as Morris. Those are not good looks, man. Those are tough shots forced by Julian. Yeah, really heavily contested shots. And once again, Julian keeps on intercepting these shots. Low-key analysis for the first game. I want to say that uh, you're right, Ludic. Julian is, is, is too Tense, right? pressured. Tense, yes. Pressing X all of the time. But Jude is reading his plays well. Jude has downloaded Julian. If Julian wants to get back in this game, he has to change something now. Yeah. The thing I see about this is Jude is not technically breaking the game with his offense. It's actually his amazing defense right now that's making all these things possible. The moment that he keeps on intercepting and stealing these balls, he will see an interception. Yeah, and you know who I saw? Boba, <laughs> aka John Wick cameo. Paul George tries for three, and the rebound goes to Boba, that seven foot freak of nature. Yeah, exactly. Jude, uncontested. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. That was too far from the three point line right now, and here comes uh, OKC on the comeback. Another three. Another miss. Yeah, we need to step away from the threes and start doing penetrations at this point. Maybe mid range jumpers could get him, propel him back into this game. Just take it slow, two points after two points instead of forcing these swap shots. So you gotta learn how to walk before you can run. Yeah, That's what he's exactly. saying. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jude tries to body down deep and he will get those post shots simply because Steven Adams is not present right now for Julian. His post is too weak. PG uses Boban. Good spin move there by Paul George. And this is what I've been talking about. He needs to get with these two pointers before he oh starts my. making his threes. Oh, oh my. No. Yo, this is not looking good for Julian. The first double digit lead, a commanding lead simply because the offense isn't clicking for Julian. You know, press pit right over here, but now he gets Russell Westbrook back into the game. And, uh, and BG is still there. Limitless three. No go. But here comes. Adams, he was actually downstairs. He wasn't able to make the shot, though. And this is what you're saying. Why? Why go for the three if it's not working? Why not just get the easy two? He's going for a quick isolation here with Jimmy Butler. And that not was a smothered three-point attempt. Not gonna work. But anyways, here comes Jude once again. Passing it to Boban, who's just a freak of nature, as you said. Tobias Harris, good. Big shot there. Making that two-point shot. Definitely. You know, Jude is letting the game come to him. He's not forcing anything. Maybe it's because he's calm that he has uh, helped me with the math. 21 to 9? 11? Is that 11? Is that 12? How, how, how many? I, I can't do math. Aim high, baby. 21 to 9 is a hell of a cushion to work with. 
and, 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 and he's not letting any pressure get to him. Oh, but the ball, the ball actually gets to him. I want to point out the conditions here for the side goal is that they should be pushing the ball towards the rim. They have lots of points coming in from that. If they keep forcing these threes, their momentum is just going to keep getting short and short like this. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Inbound. One goal, fill in the lanes correctly, leading to that posterizing slam. That should motivate Julian. Yeah, coast to coast finish there by Russell Westbrook. He needs to be make more plays like this. You know what, Jude? I dare you. Make a jump shot with Ben Simmons. I dare oh, you. Oh, man. That was a really good play there. Nice drive and finish by Ben Simmons, leading to a chance for an end one. Now, Ben Simmons isn't known much for his free throws as well. Doesn't matter, he makes it, so pushes makes it. the lead to 14. Yeah, now, we do have a lot of plays coming in for you, but... The no, up. actually, I'm gonna say no, not a lot of plays, man. Not a lot of plays coming from both men. This is ugly basketball working in the favor of Jude yeah. Deloso. So much, just really good interaction. Give and go for the three-point green light release. This is an absolute massacre. Yeah, it's 29 to 12 right now, and we only have three minutes left in the quarter. And that other slam is silent. <laughs> 14 to 29. A hell of a mountain to climb for Julian. Yeah, you can make all the highlight plays you can do, but at the end of the day, the win is all that matters. Definitely. Right now, he's really far from that. A miss there by Drew Deloso, leading to a second chance points in the corner. Nada. You know, I, I, I like the tempo. I like the tempo. Jude's in rhythm. Rebound. Patient offense. And he transitions quickly. For defense, it's it's hard for Julian because Julian hasn't made any changes. Yeah, but Ju uh, Julian's having a good um, yeah, that's a good pacing right now. He's actually cut down the lead from 60 to 60 right now. It's still a mountainous uh, deficit to climb over, but it's small baby steps, as you said. It's small baby steps. Yeah, well, you know, he has to make leaps right about now because we're coming in hot for the second half. And, and, and if if this game continues as it is, boy, it, it's safe to say that Jude is moving on. Yeah, Jude's just sitting on, it, on on his chair right now, waiting for a reply from Julian. To be honest, it's Julian with a uh, with a little bit of zone action for himself. Three two. But the corners are well checked. I don't think both these players are actually focusing much on the pick and rolls. I think they should be focusing more on that great spacing. My god. That was a contested jumper. Yeah, that was also on the boom as well. It was. The confidence, man. One key thing to note is uh, Julian hasn't been resting his stars. So the longer this pace goes, the tougher it will be on Julian. Especially in the closing corners as well. Yeah, especially uh, Paul George has been on the floor for so long, so he's resting him for quite some time right now. And it's up for a rest group to slow down the bleeding right now. You're just <laughs> bleeding so much. Most definitely. Minute and 30 left in this second half. Ben Simmons check in once again. Nice dip pass. Why not? Why not? Let's do it, baby. Ben Simmons tries for me. But we have a really speedy uh, line up here for Julian right now, putting Schroeder into the game. Just puts so much pressure off of you right now with the uh, transition. Well, transition. Finally, man, you know, change up your tools, yeah. change up your offense. It doesn't work well for you, you have your own gears to get back into the game. Simmons is actually with the green side at this point. Hey, have you noticed one thing? Oh, Jude, Jude is becoming a little bit flashier. Jude is, uh, I'm not saying he's playing slot because he's not. It, it, it's just that he's playing with a little pizzazz now. Fancy passing, drop stepping, watching see dribbles left and right. What do you make of this? Yeah, I guess it's just his confidence right now. That's, wow. But I, I know, he is becoming confident, but as his confidence grows, Julian is earning points. Yeah. From down the, I don't count. From, from 12 to now he's 22. Yeah, he's I, I, I want to say it's an 8-4 to four run for Julian. 
It's an 84 run. It was a 16.3, but now it's cut down, trimmed down to 12 as another three here. Actually, for Julian, and now it's an 11. It's a single digit lead for Joey. Yeah, it's the single digit lead. Nine point. Is the table turning? Yeah, slowly, slowly, baby steps, as we've been talking about. It's actually coming from this penetration of place from uh, Julian that's been oh, spread about Uh oh. And that three just silences that momentum. You gotta keep your head up in the game, baby. Yeah, Caster Curse right over there. Man to man deal. Oh, how dare you, Lunik? How dare you? Caster Curse. Uh, there's a foul there by Julian. Anyways, uh, we're starting to get a game in our hands right over here. We have 6.5 seconds left for the first half of the game. This is the last shot of the game. Probably Joel MB denies all of that. What a first half there. Good rally by Julian. You're still in this, baby. Yeah. Jude's showing a lot of tremendous, tremendous flashiness led up to that 8-4 uh, uh, to four run. Julian, your thoughts? Yeah, and, uh, I think the thoughts for Julian is like he's getting his comeback out of uh, momentum. He was so focused with him point sh shooting in the first quarter of the game. But it didn't work out well for him. On the second quarter, he started to make adjustments, the proper adjustments. And now Jude, your thoughts? And for Jude, I think he's getting a little bit too overconfident. I mean, his, he was so composed on the first quarter, but now that he's a little bit too overconfident, he's starting to lose his, uh, his lead, his massive lead. He exactly. still has a big lead, but it's... The is you gotta keep your head in the game once again. This is the three and D tryouts live here at SMC City Ilo Ilo, and we would like to thank our sponsors: Globe iTech, Three and D, Double Dragon Prime Cut, Three R's, and Chicken Sari Sari. This is the third quarter. Philadelphia 76ers versus the Oklahoma City Thunder, and Jude Lawson just trying everything and that he can, but Julian is creeping in that lead! Jude makes a man one play with a beat to start the game the third quarter and off, but a three-point answer by Paul George to make things off. Both players are actually exploding right now. Stalemate. It's a stalemate, and um... It's a good really... way to start the third, you know? Start it off with a bang, let each other know that I'm here, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm here not... to stay. Exactly, that I don't have... I still have a lot of gas in me. That's what, that's what they're trying to say. This, uh, you should. You should, because this is just the third. Yeah, this is just the third quarter right now. And as we're getting into the uh, championship quarters, I guess, third and fourth quarter, the closing rounds, Julian has so much pressure on him right now. Like, Jude just needs to wait. That's the wait. contrast, man. Jude doesn't have pressure. Exactly. Jude doesn't have pressure. Laying and praying, and look at those, baby. It's the 3 and D vibe up in this. Back into a 16 point deficit right now. He's just ready to put the nail in the pocket. Oh my. Rush shot there by Julian. Westbrook gets a rebound, though. BG13 working against Jimmy Butler. There's the screen. Oh, oh, but he gets it too. Almost. There's the pass out. No, drop step leading to a relentless finish. Steven Adams, you know, baby steps. Baby, baby steps. Good work down low there by Adams, though. Now Ishmith. To Jimmy B. Jimmy B is on fire. Back to Ishmith. Oh, well Westbrook read by Julian. One man fast break leading to a posterizing slam. A jammer by Russell Westbrook. Julian, if you need the thunder, you gotta bring it here. And now is the time. And a timeout is being called after that play. We have a 12-point deficit right now. The Sixers are having a game. You think, you think Jude is feeling it? You, you think Jude is feeling Julian's thunder? I really think so. Um, I don't think so, though. You don't think so? I don't think so. I don't think so. You take it back. Why is yeah, that? Yeah, take it back. Um, I don't know. Why? It's a 12-point deficit, dude. Like, if he starts picking up around a it. single... Digit um, deficit that would probably be a uh, gross amount for pressure. <laughs> for uh, you, know, you know, it's one thing to be confident and it's another to be cocky. Yeah. Never be cocky, baby. Never be cocky. Especially in a sport like basketball or anything can happen. Facts. Most especially if you're live here at the SM City Mall where all the lights and the basketball fans are watching you. Yeah, and you're dotting the name of ISC, baby. Here he comes, Ben Simmons, you roll, leading to a foul. Ben Simmons will be sent to the charity strike for two. Makes the first. 
Micah Simmons playing off working out as he's actually gone two for one in the free throw line. There you go with that comment thing, this curse, man. How dare you? <laughs> This one make one, but it doesn't matter. Fumble leading to Ben Simmons. One man fast break. Leading back to the charity yeah, side. Let's see if he can make it up with, with these free throws. First one makes it. And we gotta hold our breath now. Oh, green light release. <laughs> Redemption. Yeah, four for five for Ben Simmons. Really hot from the free throw line. As you can see how Let's see how Julian replies. Jimmy Butler is on fire with this uh, takeover batch. There's the foul by Tobias Harris. He can make it. First foul of uh, the third quarter. Four minutes. It's only four minutes left into the quarter before uh, we get to the final quarter here. As we see so much, in such an intense defense here by the Sixers right now. The, oh, there's, there's the flop. No call. Joel MP. Oh, no basket. What a flop leading to this uh, possession by Jude Deloso. Jude Deloso, Ben Simmons, rimming and rocking, taking it to the hoop. You know, he's playing him like the Fresh Prince. Uh, a poor man's LeBron James, most especially without the shooting, leading to Joel and Bean down deep. And I called back the check and make. That is the dead zone, especially with a superstar like Joel and Bean. And that is the dead zone on the other side. Jeremy Grant with an easy two. 51 to 36. Three minutes left in the third. My lord, Jude the Loss are just annihilating any hope left in Julian. Yeah, we're wrapping up in the game right now. Both teams are playing the transition game so fast right now. As we see an open man there on the side, but a foul. <laughs> that, that is the annihilation continuing on. He doesn't care about how many fouls he gets because he knows that he can spend it. Yeah, he need, they need to slow down the pace though. Nobody seems needs to slow down the pace this really because it's just not looking good right now. It's yeah, try, try nice to find pace. something else, bro. There's the strip. You know, Jimmy B on defense is tenacious. Uh, really underrated defender, so much pressure, really tough guy. Uh, oh my god. Contested. I know. The only reason for that contested shot is because Julian is rushing. Yeah. I, I know he doesn't have a lot of time, but you know, you have to be efficient with all of your opportunities. Yeah. You gotta make the most out of your opportunities. Exactly, and if you want to come back into this game, you need to have a clear head and not think about the shot clock right now because it's really... You can really tell by how he plays, it's really showing. Well, there it is. Calling up, talking about the shot clock. Good deny there down low with that block shot. Come on, Julian. It ain't over. I have no answers right now for the side of OPC. Like, even playing the, uh, the uh, penetration game right now, it's not working out well for as well. So, no answers here. The three point game is not working as well. Maybe you should so, um, open up the, the court a bit with a few picks if you ask me. I agree, man. You have a lot of big men with the bruiser badges, with the brick wall badges, and what Julian does need is a whole lot of space for his shots to go un uncontested. And how do you get that? With picks. Yeah, with picks. And you have uh, strong players. We have, we have Steven Adams, you have Erlen Snowell on your lineup. You need to use that to your advantage as make these uh, plays. Like, using the pitiful. Just shoot is one of the oldest plays in basketball and make the most of it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about your age, Lunik, but uh, how long have you been an NBA 2K fan? Uh, Quite some time, I guess. 2K10. Uh, 2K10? Who's um, your favorite team? I mean, what's your go-to team? If you were in Julian's position, or Jude's position, what team would you use for NBA 2K tryouts live here at SM City, New York? I'd probably go with the best team I don't get. Uh, with Golden State. With Golden State? You're gonna sell yeah, out? Go. Why are you gonna sell out? Dude, really strong to be Definitely, I have the Barkas Cousins at the 5, Lehman Green at the 4, KD at the 3, Clay and 2 rounding up, uh, Clay and uh, Curdy rounding up the 2 and 1. Yeah, you can think about the meta of 2K right now, it's all about the spacing and the shooting, and OPC just has the right tools for that. Shooters everywhere want to fly, and just so much of uh, it's 
stats for other players, the star potential for everyone. Most definitely, and you know, going back to this game, Jude Deloso has now sucked out all of his starting five. We are, he is playing with his second stringers. This is an opportunity for uh, Julian's bench players to make the most out of it. And we can see Russell Westbrook is still on the court. Yeah, here comes Paul George as well, back in the court as well. He's gonna try to make a run within the last minute of the game, but it's looking really grim at this point. I, I, definitely, definitely. 16 point deficit for uh, Julian. Drew Deloso yeah. with the. Uh, TJ Porno, Dimer, down deep, 4-3, and needless to say, a green light release. Interception, Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese. This could be the nail in the coffin right now. He knocks down this shot. <laughs> this is definitely the end. Are you? Hogan, massive man, just bullies his way in. Are, are you saying that uh, this is a third quarter dagger? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. A third quarter dagger called by Lunik. Last 10 seconds of the third quarter. Jude Deloso with the ball intercepted by Paul George Julian. With any hopes of a comeback. Second chance points. No time left. Once again, this SF Ilo Ilo event brought to you by 3ND is live today. This is the tryouts. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Globe, iTech, 3ND, Double Dragon, Prime Cut, 3Rs, and Chicken Sari Sari. Jude, ISC Jude's Philadelphia 76ers with a dominating, rather commanding lead. Up, up here in the fourth against Julian's uh, Oklahoma City Thunder. Lunik, you still have hope? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, but it's a 22-point deficit right now. Yeah, that's, a, that's a steep mountain as you established. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've witnessed magic here in Iruda City. I remember casting the Cold Quest uh, NBA 2K game tournament a couple of months ago, last month. And the owner of 3MD, Joe Ben Alberiana, came back from a double digit uh, deficit, I think 14 points was wow. the deficit. And he came back with the Toronto Raptors against Golden State nonetheless. I'm sorry, Philadelphia nonetheless. So let's see if uh, Julian can, can muster up the essence of the big boss man of 3 and D. <laughs> It'll be quite a surprise if we see a miracle on our first match of the day as well. I mean, that would be such a high bump to the, to the experience. But, it's all these things. <laughs> well, definitely, man. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a double elimination tournament. So it's not the end. Um, after this, Julian really should just uh, reset his mindset and uh, focus on the next uh, Yes, he still has a, a chance. And we have a 45,000 prize pool at the end of the day. High stakes, but most importantly, you get those sexy, sexy trophies that you, everyone can see up on the stage. Something that uh, you can take home and be proud of. Show it to your papa, show it to your papa, show it to your brothers and sisters. Tell them, show it to your mighty. <laughs> show, tell them that you gaming it's not just a waste of time, man. This is, this is not just video games. This is e-sports. Yeah, e-sports. And of course, um, lots of people here at Tendence today um, showing their support to the genre as well, to the uh, to the e-sports community here in the US. So, yeah, lots of good gamers right now. And, uh, very competitive for all of these games. Yeah, we have Tekken, Smash, and FIFA going on. We'll be seeing more of those in a while. You know, real quick, FIFA is one of the games that uh, I love as well. I came in second place at the Conquest Festival. Not really bragging, but I'm just saying I've got some skills, really. Aim high, not just the commentator, not just the NBA 2 k bring that FIFA love as well. And of course, uh, FIFA, of course, yeah. 
football is one of like the uh, best uh, sports in the world, if not the best. Not the not such, such a large fan base, so lots of people would really love to see uh, FIFA 2K19 here. Um, Event, but right now we should just go back to the uh, NBA play right over here as we are oh. about to reach a 30 point deficit to be honest. I'm, I'm going to bring out the calculator. Why don't you talk to these guys and I'm going to try to do my math. Yeah, it's a 29 point deficit right now. It's such an insurmountable. We are now just watching three points left and right because he has no more care in the world at this point. Well, the only care he has is winning and going all the way at today's NBA 2K 3 and D game tournament, most definitely. Nothing is going to stop his passion. Yeah, and he's just playing hot potato right now, passing the ball around, just consuming as much time as he can. Julian with any hope, you know, oh is Relentless. denied. <laughs> Relentless. And you know what's gonna happen? If I mean, if I was Julian, I'd take this time to test out what I lack Any chance can I keep it? just can so keep it? I know what I can do coming up to my second game. Because if I don't perform well at the loser's bracket, then best I, I, I venture out into what other things I can do here at SM. Because, you know, SM is... Dude, every time I come home after work, I'd love, to, I'd love to do my pit stops at SF. Because there's a lot of things here that I, I'd love to buy, man. Uh, they got lots of food. SF, we've got it all for you. So true over there. As well as you, he's got all the points of the world as well right now to finish this game. Yeah, he's, he's, he's telling, he's telling Julian, I've got it all, man. <laughs> he's calling this game. If I were Julian, um, sometimes I wouldn't look at the clock. I wouldn't look at the score. Uh, sometimes losing can be a uh, blessing. Um, it just opens up the, uh, the mistake that you have and um, set up a new game plan, you know, coming in for the tournament. You're not out yet, so you can formulate new game plans further down the line. At Hashtag what I wouldn't do. Yeah, true, true that, true that. Gotcha there. Yeah, in life, in life, the best lessons uh, that you can, can experience is through your mistakes. Right now, yeah. And of course, uh, Jude is just slowing up there at this point. Waiting for me to Ah, no, no, no. I He's sending a message because he's on the stage. Everyone can see his talent showcasing his skills as he should. And he's, he's, he's making a, a statement right now to all of the NBA 2K19 participants here today. Y'all better watch out because I'm coming in hot, man. I have something to prove. Y'all not, you better not be in my way. I'm not quite sure, but I've been counting. I think he has over 10 green rings right now from deep. I'm not sure if that was the exact number, but he's just on fire right now. With what do you call skill? Yeah. Right? You gotta skill. give it up. That, that skill. It, it takes a lot of practice in order for you to, to execute those green light releases. If, if you don't know, those are perfect releases and the only thing that can stop that is a block. And the worst case about, uh, about it is some two or three of those begin to contest it and they were still green. That's amazing. Practice, baby. Practice. practice. Be water, my friend. Quotes from the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Oh my god, eh? complete contrast, you know, Typical. terrible outing from uh, Julian, rather disappointing outing from Julian, but you know, he's made it this far, there's a reason for it, he is one of the eight top players here in Ilo Ilo, you, know, you guys better watch out for this man, you know, and Don't underestimate this guy. never, it might just be the nerves, first day, first game, up on the stage, it might just be the nerves, but I tell you what, he has acquired the taste of being in the limelight, of having all eyes on him, next time you see him, if you see him, he's gonna be ready, man, he's gonna be ready. We ain't cut him out just yet, and for all intents and purposes, who knows, he might... I might just get to the finals to be honest. This is a double round robin after all. I think it's a double elimination. Double elimination. So we're just gonna run down the floor. We're at the closing seconds of this game. Jude the Lasso. Our first win of today's NBA 2K19.
3MD Tryout Tournament. We are live here at SM City, Iloilo. There's the clock, and this is official. Jude Losa ending with a handshake, just how you should do it. Proper esports, baby. Proper esports. Your thoughts, Luda? Sportsmanship for both players, so respect one another after every game as well. And of course, um, that concludes our first game for today. An outstanding performance for you. He's just um, telling everybody right now that he's ready to go. Most definitely, most definitely, again, strong outing by ISC Jude Deloso coming out hot with the Philadelphia 76ers. Again, my name is Aim High, and on behalf of Lunik, we would like to thank our sponsors, Globe, iTech, 3MD, Double Dragon, Prime Cut, 3 Rs, Chicken, Sari Sari. We'll check you guys out in a hot second. My name is Aim High, on behalf of Lunik, uh, catch you guys in a bit. I, 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 I think Lunix volume.